And a jolly good early morning to you from central London. In fact, I'm on the south side of the River Thames, just near the uh, Clink Prison, or Prison Museum, should say. Uh, I do love a little walk around London first thing in the morning when there's uh, not too many people about. Uh, most people are still tucked up in bed. You've just got the uh, few that are wandering into work very early. And... Uh, shops and businesses getting uh, deliveries as this is the best time of day to deliver to businesses in this part of London when you can actually get your vehicles close to where you want to deliver them to so yeah just walking uh, walking along this normally during the daytime will be absolutely heaving with people walking along stopping at all the cafes and restaurants a couple of pubs and uh, other tourist attractions to keep you occupied and it is normally really dodge the people but uh, a bit of building work going on here actually scaffolding that wasn't there when I last walked along here and some of the chain coffee shops are not open yet Just coming round here, past the Golden Hind and uh, towards Southwark Cathedral. I just walked across the Millennium Bridge and that has got to be the first time I've ever walked across there and stood in the middle. And uh, there literally is nobody on there, even during Covid there was uh, generally people about and this was more or less six o'clock in the morning so October that's why it's still dark the sun's just start well uh, it's just starting to get light now but even uh, busy London was pretty quiet at six o'clock this morning on the Millennium Bridge walking up towards Borough Market now. Wow. This is incredible. I mean, of course, Borough Market's uh, really a, mostly a foodie market now and peaks late morning through till early evening with people uh, buying lunch and snacks, full blow meals at the places like the Fish Restaurant here, as opposed to being a traditional market like what it used to be. of the trains going overhead. And all the stalls still closed. Wow. This of course will be Absolutely heaving later on, as I say, late morning through to early evening. Very, very busy round here. People grabbing some, uh, sometimes quite expensive snacks, but there's normally um, there's normally some very interesting choices that you can make food-wise. While it might be a bit more expensive than going to a chain establishment, you'll probably enjoy it a lot more. Oh, we're just coming through the other side of Borough Market. Actually, to be fair, I wasn't um, quite surprised by how unopened it is. I thought something might be happening in there, even if it was just the 
uh, fruit and veg part of it. But nothing. And here we are around to uh, Borough High Street outside the tube station. It's suddenly quite a lot busier. It's the main thoroughfare here. See these blue plaques everywhere in London. Always interesting just to stop and have a little look on this site. Poet and apothecary John Keats and his friend, the poet, apothecary, surgeon and chemist Henry Stevens shared lodgings while studying at Guy's and St Thomas, St Thomas's hospitals, 1815 to 1816. And uh, St Thomas's is just up here. Of course, London never actually goes to sleep at all. The quietest I have ever seen it uh, in general was during the pandemic. And uh, if you hunt through my videos, you'll find one of the River Thames absolutely still like a mill pond. Um, because it was firstly the turn of the tide which uh, makes it quite still in any case but normally there's sufficient activity on the river the boats and so on to cause uh, disturbance in the water but there was absolutely nothing it literally was like a mill pond I've never seen the Thames like it and I don't suppose I'll ever see it like it ever again so if you look at a video Around about April or May 2020, um, you will you will see that one. Um, it was still pretty quiet across there this morning, but the tide was going out very rapidly. And uh, just reaching the uh, shard now. It's funny, it, you, there's a very distinctive difference between just before six o'clock and just after six o'clock here in London. An awful lot. An awful lot suddenly starts happening as soon as the clock strikes six o'clock. It's not due to public transport, that runs all night, the tubes on the whole start at five o'clock in the morning trains are running into london most of the night so it's not as a result of that it's just in people's psyche i think six o'clock is the time they arrive and uh, steady build up through till sort of eight nine o'clock when it'd be very very busy indeed all around here Right, that just concludes this little short walk, an early morning stroll here in London. Hope you enjoyed that from, uh, well, from the Clink Prison Museum through to London Bridge Station. I'll catch you again on another video. If you liked it, please press like uh, or subscribe if you want to uh, 
see some other videos and uh, apparently if you press that little bell that'll let you know when other videos come out thanks for watching catch you all again soon cheers for now bye